I have so many stories that uh, I could share on this podcast about all kinds of people that we registered, particularly back in 2008, when it was, you know, the first time that any campaign really pushed hard to register new voters in the state of North Carolina. I have registered uh, former felons uh, who literally had tears in their eyes when I told them, number one, that they could actually register to vote. And they were like, are you serious? Like, you don't don't you know, shit around with me. Like, people have been screwing around with me all my life. Like, don't lie to me. I'm like, no, you can totally do this. Here's a form. I can, you know, give it to you right now. You fill it out. We'll drop it off at the DMV right next door. And, of course, there are a lot of older citizens, particularly African Americans, who, again, was effectively disenfranchised their entire life for one reason or another and never got to register to vote. And we were able to reach those people for the very first time in their life. And it wasn't just a a powerful experience uh, for me as a young uh, field organizer, but it was probably a way more powerful experience for that voter who finally discovered, you know, their inherent right as a citizen of this country. Oh, yeah, no, I I, I remember, too, like when I was registering voters, there's a family dollar uh, in the west side of Charlotte that I used to go to as one of my voter registration hotspots. And a, a, a gentleman came by who was over the age of 70, African-American fellow, and he walked in front of me and, of course, doing my normal pitch, I said, oh, hey, are you registered to vote, sir? And he goes, he goes oh, no, man, I can't register. I'm, I, I'm a felon. He was very ashamed of himself for, for that. And I was like, well, actually, sir, in the state of North Carolina, if you finish your probation and parole, they allow you to register to vote. And his eyes lit up and he, go, he got super excited because he, he realized he could vote for Barack Obama in 2008. And, and I'll never forget that guy. I, you know, I registered him to vote right there. And cool thing about that one, too, three weeks later, I was at the Food Lion on the west side of Charlotte. The same gentleman walked up and I, I, I did my normal pitch and I was like, oh, you registered to vote, sir. And then I, then I recognized him immediately. And, and I was like, oh, no, I already got you. You're good. You're going to be voting for Obama. And, and sure enough, he, and sure <laughs> enough, he did.